Hey all, this is a quick video to show how you can convert almost any files including a lossless audio formats into a Dolby digital format and still get a proper 5.1 surround experience and these three applications I'm going to talk about do this the best and with minimal setup required. So let's get started. So once you're in your TV, this can be a TV, Fire Stick, whatever, you need Vimeo. So go ahead and download Vimeo. I already have Vimeo with me. So once you install the application, all you have to do is go to Options, go to Settings. You can go to Audio. You have to enable Surround Sound Pass-Through. Once you enable that, you have to come down. Keep the Pass-Through mode at Auto. You have to go down, Convert Sound From. I'm going to convert sound from EAC3, DTS, DTS HD, True HD, surround sound and I'm going to convert it to AC3 which is Dolby Digital and any sound bar that has Dolby Digital will be supporting the audio going forward. So I'll just go ahead and play a demo file that I have with me. Now I'll show this as an example and I'll show you why. So this particular file has both True HD and Dolby Atmos. Okay, so you can see it's only Dolby Audio now. I'm on a Dolby Digital Plus file and it is still showing as Dolby Audio. I can change this to True HD and the audio will still be at Dolby Audio. So that's pretty much it. That's what this does. You convert it and you'll be able to get play any file into a Dolby Audio file. I'm gonna play one more. This is a DTS file. I just play it and even a DTS file will get converted into a Dolby Audio file. See as you can see it's picking up Dolby Audio and that's pretty much it with TV and the next application is for PC so you got to download this specific application called Pot Player and you can download 32 or 64 bit according to your versions minus 64 once I download, I'm just going to install the application and I'll just run this through. So once you're in pot player, you can directly go to preferences and you have to select on audio. Once you select audio, there is an option to normalize audio. You have to click on normalize and you have to disable the boost audio. Uh, without this, it is not proper. So once you disable it, you can then go back, click on audio and you'll have this option of audio processing settings. Once you're in, you can select the channels, which is 5.1 in my case. It is three in the front, two in the rear, so 5.1 channels. And I'll click on set built-in audio decoder. And once I do that, I'm gonna select AC3 and default pass-through mux. So this is required for you to get the AC3 audio, which is Dolby Digital. So once you select that, leave all the rest unchecked and click on OK. Select the output and pass through after AC3 re-encoding and you're going to leave the sample rate and everything untouched. You're going to use pass through and one channel is available. Just follow this method and you will be able to get Dolby Digital files and all the other files working in the Dolby Digital format. That's pretty much it with Pot Player. The next is Kodi. This is applicable for both TV and your PC. So once you install Kodi, you can directly go to settings, system, change your mode to expert, it'll be at basic. You gotta go to expert. 
once you are at expert go to audio go to allow pass through options so once you are in audio pass through enable this options which is Dolby Digital AC3 capable receiver and enable Dolby Digital Transcoding. That's pretty much it. Once you do it, you'll be able to get the audio, all the audios in a Dolby Digital format. And I hope this video helps and I'll see you guys in another one.